Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Meredith Mitchell with Big Fox News. Scott Beadle has the night off. Lloyd Nyrider, who pled guilty to murdering his ex-wife, Michelle Nyrider, will be sentenced tomorrow. The crime happened back in August of 2017 when Michelle's body was discovered in her Corning home. Her death was initially ruled a suicide, but police later figured, figured out Lloyd had strangled his ex-wife and staged the suicide. His motive was to gain full custody of his youngest daughter and to stop paying alimony. In October, Lloyd pled guilty to murder. His daughter, Carrie Nyrider, pled guilty to assisting her father with the murder. Lloyd faces 25 years to life. His sentencing begins at 930 in Steuben County Court. It's been a couple weeks since Donna's restaurant has been operating out of its new location, but today the official ribbon cutting ceremony was held in part because it was important for Donna Robbins that former congressman and Corning Inc. CEO Amo Hotan be in attendance. Hotan, who always chose Donna's to announce he was running for re-election, had the honor of cutting the ribbon. Local politicians, as well as Corning Enterprises, the Gaffer District, and the Chamber of Commerce were also in attendance. Robbins is overwhelmed by the outpouring of love and support from the community. It's overwhelming. Yeah, it really is overwhelming because I was going to retire and I got so many messages from people that wanted me to keep working that I just couldn't do it. So here I am. If you haven't been here, come try it. And if you don't like it, I'm hoping you will. <laughs> there, you know, there are several families. There's the Daniello family. There's the Bong family. Uh, there's uh, the Sorgi family. Uh, there's Donna. That's the core of the community. It's not the people that come in and out, in and out, in and out. And uh, when you have a small community such as we have, it depends upon those those people. And uh, they're the they're the glue that keeps the company and the community together. Donna says she'll still, she's still getting used to her new space and still trying to figure out how to organize it, but so far she's really liking it. The Arctic League had its annual telethon yesterday, raising $53,000. Now the league will get busy preparing the Christmas packages volunteers will deliver to children on Christmas morning. The Arctic League, which has been around for more than 100 years, makes sure every needy child in Chemung County has at least one gift on Christmas. Arctic League volunteers will spend several nights this month packaging gifts they will deliver to nearly 3,000 children. The first night of packing will be this Friday. The Kiwanis Club of Elmira wants to continue its tradition of serving children. It will host its annual Christmas auction on Wednesday to raise money toward maintaining ongoing programs. The event will be held 5.30 to 8 at the Holiday Inn in Elmira. Both a silent and live auction will take place. Light snacks will be served with a cash bar. The event is free. Well, today was the warmest day we'll see for a while. Meteorologist Kim Walker has your Big Fox forecast next. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, welcome back everyone. The rain that we saw earlier today changed into to snow and we're going to have more snow showers tonight and also into tomorrow. And then during the day, those clouds will start to decrease. So we're going to see partly cloudy skies, but it's going to be cold. We do have chances of snow through the rest of the week, maybe just a few isolated uh, snow showers in the afternoon hours. But again, temperatures will be about 10 degrees below what normal. We should see a little bit more sunshine though by the end uh, of the weekend. But our future radar is showing snow showers 
showers will be possible as we make our way into the overnight. Just uh, some spurts of snow here and there, but overall accumulations will be very light. It will be cold tonight, well below freezing with lows in the 20s. It will be breezy with a northwest wind around 10 miles per hour. Our snow showers will be ending during the day tomorrow. Temperatures will be cold, just about a degree above freezing. 33 degrees for the high tomorrow, and then your seven-day forecast calls for temperatures staying in the 30s for the most part from Wednesday into your Friday. We are going to see the possibility of more snow, though, during the week. Over the weekend, we should see a little bit more sunshine. Temperatures will remain cold with highs in the low 30s. Meredith? All right, thanks so much, Kim. And we thank you for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great night.